welcome back to Bean Gaming. We have the infinite reward for September. We're going to go ahead and clam this infinite reward and Vampire Sniper. All right. Inventory. Let's go to Vampire Sniper. Oh, I got three of them. I thought I was only going to get two. That's kind of cool. A five. Wait a minute. That's Slither. Vampire Sniper. There we go. Unleash rapid piercing projectiles to dominate the battlefield with the Vampire Sniper. I don't know how much anything costs. I don't know how much the initial placement cost is. I really have no idea. All I know is that it's not necessarily AoE, but when the sniper shoots, it goes through all the enemies along the same track line. And so we have attack speed of 1, range of 70, and attack of 750, all the way up to, this is completely unboosted, no ranks on there as well, 6,750 and a range of 110. We're going to check the Vampire Sniper out, see how good it is, or maybe it's not, I don't know. We'll check it out and, and kind of see over there. But I know everyone, the reason why you wanted to watch this video is because if we go over here to Champions and go over to Pumpkin Champion, check this out. Wait a minute, where is it? No, it's not over here. What am I doing? Rankings, challenges, we'll go ahead and clam our daily rewards. Oh, weekly rewards, clam, 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 clam right there. And finally under achievements, scroll on down, up under hard, and we have the Pumpkin Champion Red, yes. I know that's the reason why you're tuning in today. We're going to go ahead and clam the Pumpkin Champion Red. Now we can go back over to Champions, Pumpkin Champion, and there it is. The Pumpkin Champion specializes in extra tower damage with the Pumpkin Dragon as partner tower, earned by defeating the Witch's Hut 25 times in the... Well, there's nothing else over there. So, there's a couple upgrades and a couple things that are happening. There's going to be the Heroes and Villains... I don't know what they really call it. Heroes and Villains event coming up relatively soon here. That's kind of cool. We'll talk more about that as we get in game, but let's go ahead and who should I get rid of? Let's, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to have to. Mutant Indominus, we're going to put a Vampire Sniper in its place, and we're going to check out one of the Halloween maps that I have not even played yet. So, I will see everyone in game. There's only two maps that I have not played yet, the Demon's Domain and the Nightmare Realm. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get probably any of these pets from these other maps here. Not the Pumpkin Crawler pet. I have a bunch of the Werewolves and the Witches because I played those like crazy, but I don't have anything else. So I'm kind of bummed out about that. Just been kind of grinding the house recently. But we'll try the Demon's Domain, see how I end up doing. And what's interesting is if you kind of take a look around, I can zoom out a little bit. I can zoom out a lot, actually. The layout looks really cool here. And if you look at all these, what are these, Pentagon stars? Or I, I forgot what their actual names are. I believe, you can correct me if I'm wrong, if you put your Diablo on top of it, then that's a boost right there. So anyone that has Eternal Glory Diablo, that's like insane. And then with the Mutant Indominus boost, that's actually really, 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 really good. Best tower in the game, especially when you pair it with the throne. I don't know if I can beat it on Nightmare. Let's try it out just to get this going a little bit quicker. But if not, we, I mean, we can always scale it back to normal. It doesn't really matter. What's the path that these enemies are taking? So I probably should put down... Oh, I can't put down Tiki Hydra. Tiki Hydra. And there we go. Eternal Glory golden hydra oh i didn't even realize that look at that entrance there that's kind of cool it's like a warp porting in that's pretty cool how much is oh first placement's thirty thousand. interesting and while i'm even looking at this i end up getting a win streak with the witch's hut map and unfortunately when i exited out to try to go back to the lobby I got stuck in the void, and so I had to quit. I was down to about 25 minutes, and so of course we all know that resets. And just just a bummer, man. I wish that they incorporate. I'm I'm hoping that they will eventually going to incorporate where if you do leave the game for whatever reason you can get back in within five minutes and then you're still gonna be good to go. Alright. There's the Viper Snipe what is it called? Vampire Sniper. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting tower. And little arrows, like so. Where's my other, did my other Hydra and I could put down? My, or my Tiki? 
I guess not. We'll put Tiki right over there. Range, 40,000 upgrade. Yep, we'll go ahead and upgrade there. Wonder how many placements. We'll figure that out. Hopefully when I get more money here. So my Tiki's are Golden Might. That's really helpful. We'll go ahead and actually one of the improvements or upgrades that we made, if you hold down control and you click your, your tower, then you can upgrade that way rather than having to click on the tower to bring up the stats card and upgrade that way. So I really like that addition. I know they took that from the house, but still it's a lot better, I think, in most circumstances. So 15th, we gotta get to 20,000. 20,000's right there. And then we'll get one more at 25,000 to completely max out. Golden Might Tiki Hydra. And then once we do that, I think we should be okay, possibly, at least for a while. Alright. So I do have enough. Place down another. Have enough. So we have three placements. What about four placements? Is that on the line? Is that possible? Oh, I can do four placements. Place right over here. What about five? Can we do five? We can't do five. There's only four placements. Okay. So I want to look at the stats card real quick. 60,000, then 90,000. Damage is 2,800 right now. Oh, wait a minute. What's what? Look at that. Oh, no. That's what happened. I knew I placed Tiki down. Interesting, interesting. So 90,000 for the next upgrade. And to, whoa, 250,000? What? All right, we have to get Golden Hydra to 100,000 here. Just for the money part of it. Of course, the damage as well, but bam, there we go. One click, and we are good to go. I think I should put down... Man, I have to get to 250,000? Really? For Vampire Sniper? Maybe this is a tough map. But what do you think? The design's kind of cool. I do like how they have the arrows right there. Probably wooden arrows, right? I would think so. Could be wrong. We can we can actually get to five hundred thousand. Look at all the different tracks though, or the paths that these enemies can take. We'll get to five hundred thousand. There we go. Just wanted to get that next level up here, and then oh no, look at this. They're they're kind of moving around quicker. Let's go ahead and place. How come I can't? Oh, I can place them there. That's really good. I think we're sitting pretty so far. I don't think that any of my other towers have been depleted or taken out. But look how fast these enemies are. No! 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 Can I can I sell? I can sell. I can put back. I can upgrade. There we go. No harm. No harm done. Man, that's kind of crazy. 100,000. We'll put... Yeah, we can fit in. God, Kuma. Splash! Damage. And maxed out. Alright. So DPS, 8,500. Range, 110. So can... Get out of the way there. Yes, you can reach for sure. And the attack speed is 1. So that's not bad. It's just interesting because I would like to see these arrows highlighted more that way you can see it going through the enemies unless maybe I get a side profile here can you actually see them go through yeah it's very difficult very difficult to see we'll put God Kuma on last I always do that I always roll past it we should be able to completely max everything out so I'm not overly concerned about that. Just want to make sure. Tiki Hydra's helping out with Golden Might. What's the next upgrade? 550. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to 
definitely. Oh no. Oh no. Sell. I can't let that enemy take take it away. Vampire Sniper is part of the showcase here. Can't let you do that to us. Let's see if we can get some sound on there. So there's no music for this map. Yeah, it does sound like yeah, I do like the I do like that. Oftentimes when there's music in any of the games, you have to worry about being copyrighted all, so that's why I normally have my sound off. Yeah, zoom in and, and listen, we got the stereo effect going on now. That's pretty neat. God Kuma's maxed out. No! Oh no! There we go, maxed out. Oh shoot, I forgot to max out my Golden Hydra. And I know I can place down... There we go, the Kraken makes an appearance. 1,250,000, there we go. Now we're looking a lot better. We got this, oh, we're at wave 20 already. Where's the boss? Is this the Demon King? Demon King, yes. No match. Did I get the Demon King pet? No, there's no pet for this map, right? Yeah, I don't think so. All right, well, let me know what you th Oh, no. Another glitch. So, yeah, we have the Heroes and Villains event, or Villains and Heroes event coming up. There's the control click now to upgrade your, to your towers. And then the Vampire Sniper. Four placements. Kind of expensive. What do you think? Cool tower? I don't know. But update coming Friday, the new tower, the new infinite tower has not been released yet. We're going to wait for that to see what happens there. And the Halloween event is coming to a close, I believe, in about eight days. So, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell. Thank you much, everyone, for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. We're on the road to 2K. We just hit 1,800 subs today, which is completely awesome. I want to thank you so much. Might have a little surprise at 2K for everyone. Just because, well, you've supported me throughout this journey so far. So thank you so much. So again, have a great day, and I will see everyone soon. Talk to you later. Bye.